Hamas made a surprise announcement Monday that it had accepted the terms of a ceasefire agreement with Israel. But there now appears to be some confusion over the deal. And President Biden is expected to deliver a speech today condemning anti-Semitism. Good morning. I'm Windsor Johnston with NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Developments surrounding ceasefire talks and a hostage release in Israel have been moving at lightning speed over the past day. NPR's Jackie Northam reports that's created a lot of mixed messages about the facts playing out on the ground. Given the sky-high stakes involved in the Gaza conflict, it's not unusual that Israel, Hamas, the U.S. and others are not showing their hands. That's created dueling narratives as developments unfold. For example, Hamas made a surprise announcement Monday that it would accept a ceasefire agreement. What prompted that depends on who you ask. Was it an impending Israeli military operation against Hamas and Rafah, or was the militant group simply throwing the negotiating ball back in Israel's court? Israel says it will continue negotiating, but at the same time launch airstrikes in eastern Rafah. Meanwhile, a White House official says those strikes aren't the major military operation it had warned Israel about. Jackie Northam, NPR News, Tel Aviv. President Biden is expected to deliver a speech on Capitol Hill today condemning anti-Semitism. Biden's remarks come amid heightened tensions on college campuses against the war in Gaza. Jeremy Siegel with member station GBH reports student protesters at MIT were ordered by police to clear out their encampment on school grounds last night. Students toppled barriers that were set up outside of their encampment just hours after the school warned that they could face immediate suspension. Graduate student Balthazar Danish says despite the threats, they plan to remain camped out until MIT meets their demands to cut any ties with Israel. From day one, we came to the negotiating table with a written plan and a written proposal to execute our demands. And so far, there's not been a concrete written counterproposal. At nearby Harvard, students there marched to University President Alan Garber's home Monday night to demand the start of negotiations. For NPR News, I'm Jeremy Siegel in Cambridge. Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene says she plans to hold additional talks today with House Speaker Mike Johnson. Greene was asked by reporters on Monday if she's still planning to move ahead with a vote to oust the Speaker. So I just had a long discussion with the Speaker in his office um, about ways uh, to move forward for a Republican-controlled House of Representatives. Mm-hmm. Green's efforts to file a motion to vacate have been met with pushback from many House Republicans and some Democrats. The Georgia Republican has been highly critical of Johnson for working with House Democrats to avert a government shutdown and for providing additional aid to Ukraine. This is NPR.